All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, fix a few problems um, some people are having when they import uh, meshes from another package, or having problems in ZBrush where it's um, creating seams and gaps when you subdivide it. Now, this mesh here is the uh, demo soldier that comes with ZBrush, and what we're going to do is uh, he's got some sub tools, and I'm just going to go ahead and convert this uh, body into a PolyMesh 3D. Uh, even though that it is one mesh, it's polygroup, so I can control shift click each part, you know. And basically, if I subdivide this mesh right now with geometry and divide this, everything looks as normal here. The reason it's not shrinking up where the polygroups are at or separating because these points are already welded where it's polygroup. So let's control Z this back a few times. And. Um, now if I was to come up here and do a group split, we're going to split this. Now this time I'm just going to go ahead and merge the visible. Alright, once I did this, it created a new tool right here, it's, um, the merge one. You can select this one, or if you move the slider all the way to the right, it will pick up the last tool that was made, which was the new merge one. Alright, it's the same thing, um, as you can see looks like the one that came from the light box but since it's been separated and I merged it again uh, and I divide it you can see now I'm starting to get these seams that's where the um, it's been polygrouped at and there, these points are not welded control Z back back now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and export this really quick now, there's a couple ways that you can fix this. Um, we're going to go ahead and close some of this up for right now. Um, you notice we got an import option here. There's different tools that if you select something different, you will not get this uh, import option down here on the right hand side. The best thing to do is select the PolyMesh 3D. And then we're going to come down here and go to import. Uh, we're going to press the merge point and you can mess with this uh, weld slider here um, you might not want too much but if they're you know just something you got to tinker with I want to set it to 0 0.001 and press import right. F on the keyboard to frame that up now remember that was our bad one and press divide alright see so you can see it's not shrinking up now if we repeat the process again and we select here alright now since we got this one right here the new star or actually looks like the same star um, you gotta make sure these settings are correct or it will not work so if I was to come up here and press import and thinking the settings were already made in here and I come down here and divide it you can see it's gonna shrink up control Z that again so basically what I'm saying is select the star make sure these import options are set alright once it's set you know we can we can even come way up here and we do the import and we're going to divide that and you can see how that's working it's not separating control Z that back uh, another thing that you can do is if we come down the sub tools we're gonna come down here and do a group split alright um, this time when we remember when we merged all these we still had the problems so we, if we press merge visible then we come up here and select our new tool by moving the slider all the way to the right and then we divide it we still had that problem let's control Z that well the way that you can fix that is we're going to do the group split again um, this time it's got a weld option here when you want to merge them so we're going to select here if you got UVs you might want to check that one merge visible we're going to select the new tool by moving the slider all the way to the right and this should solve the problem when I divide it and if I stroke across the uh, poly groups you'll see the seams won't pop out or separate that back. 
In this example, I'm going to show you the difference between polygroup and some another way that this might look deceiving between polygroup and points that are welded or not welded. So if we turn on the poly frames here, we got the cylinder, we're going to make a poly mesh 3D, and control shift click. I'm going to hide part of this, go to the sub tool, and we're going to split the hidden. Whatever's hidden, it's going to get split in two parts. And as you can see, now we got two tools here. And if we go to the geometry here and we divide this, you can see it's shrinking up and it's getting this little gap in here. So we'll control Z that. Then we're going to merge this one down. So we're going to merge them together. All right, so you can see we got two different polygroups. We control shift click these right here. There is one. If I drag over this, you can see they do not pull away at the seam when I drag it across there. But if I come down here and divide this, they shrink apart. So you got to distinguish, you know, the polygroups that are not welded or welded. So as an example, if I was to let's go ahead and drag down here, and we'll go down to the polygroups and group visible, and we're going to bring everything back. All right, you can see this top half here was not welded, and this one's just polygroup. So if I was to subdivide this all right you're, it's only going to separate where it's not welded at the points and you can see this was just only polygrouped here so you got to kind of distinguish um, which is which and like I said if you wanted to fix all this back up what we could do is just uh, do a group split and then I'm going to go ahead and weld Merge visible. And we're going to select a new tool. Now we got all our groups back. Now when we subdivide it, it all sticks together. If I drag across there, it all sticks together no matter what subdivision levels. This next step, I'll show you another method to protect the edges. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hide part of this, and what we're going to do is come down here to split hidden, and then what we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and turn on the sole here, and we're going to need to turn on the visibility double. And wherever wherever there is an open edge, I'm going to be using this option called crease. Right, it's in the geometry and uh, it's called crease here. Let's turn the sole back off and then we're going to crease this. Now the one that's selected has protected edges where it was open at. So if I subdivide this, as you can see, it's not going apart. Control Z this again. Now if I uncrease this and then press divide, you can see it's separating. Control Z that. What we want to do is we want to crease this one. Then I'm going to alt-click this bottom one here. Then I want to crease that one. Let's go ahead and select this top one here and we'll just go ahead and merge down. Now if we zoom way in here, you can see where the two poly groups are at. When you use crease, let me turn on a magnifier you get these little dotted lines alright these help protect the edges right here All right, these do not get exported if I was to export this mesh the, this can only be read by ZBrush in short terms um, the way to protect the edge was to put another edge real close to the previous edge um, but the problem with that is if you got them close together right here and I was to drag over this mesh when there was a lot of subdivision well you'd probably have a seam in there um, th this is kind of like a fake um, protected edge for these dotted lines so if I divide this and divide it and divide it and drag across here you can see we can't even see where that uh, seams at now if I if that was a, a true edge there uh, I would probably it would probably show a seam as soon as I start dragging across there and like I said 
these only get um, these don't get exported when you export this in OBJ. All right, now we got other tools down here that the group loop and the um, some of the uh, edge loop tools that will put an edge there, but that's when you're going to get a seam if you start dragging across there, and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and bring that back. I'm assuming you can see the seam in there, so let me bring this back a little bit here. Not seam, but the dotted lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try zooming way in in the video so you can kind of see it one more time. And turn on the magnifier. And you see the little dotted lines. Now this time I'm going to reach over and I'm going to uh, uncrease this. So I'll come over here and uncrease. Then the dotted lines go away. Now I'm going to control Z that to bring them back. I had paused the video again for a slight second, but uh, you can see I still got both of these, uh, both are creased. Um, when we went to the sub tool and then we come down here and we group split. Uh, remember the previous time if we just merged them together that uh, what would happen is they would not weld the points until we came down here and press weld. All right, since these have protected edges, um, we're going to see what's going to happen. So we're going to leave the weld off and then we're going to come down here and just merge visible. And we're going to select our new tool. Uh, I can see actually the dotted lines right here. And it was still there when I merged them. And I did not have to press weld and I'm going to subdivide this to take a look. And you can kind of compare to see how that works.